Hi everyone. So today we'll be seeing the divisibility tests of uh, different numbers from uh, 2 to 10. Uh, the divisibility test is very important in case uh, if you want to know whether a number is divisible by what number. So in that case you can use these divisibility tests and find out and come to a conclusion on uh, which number is divisible by what number. Okay, so first we'll see the divisibility test of 2. We can say any number is divisible by 2 if the last digit of the number is a 0 or any even number. For example, uh, if you see if you see over here, um, 48, 64, 100, 808, 406, all these numbers are divisible by 2. Why? Why are they divisible by 2? Because if you see the last digit of the number 48, uh, so this is uh, the last digit is 8. So 8 is an even number, so 48 is divisible, is divisible by 2. Similarly, 64, 4 is even number. And in 100, the last number is 0, so it is divisible by 2. And in 808, the last digit is 8. So 8 is divisible by, 8 is uh, an even number, so 808 is divisible by 2. Similarly, 406. Okay, so this is a divisibility test of 2. Next comes divisibility test of 3. A number can be divisible by 3 if the sum of digits of uh, the number is divisible by 3. So what does this mean? See, for example, we'll take one for, uh, 156. So if you add the digits of uh, 156, it is 1 plus 5 plus 6, which is equal to 12, right? So is 12 divisible by 3? Yes, 4 3s are 12. So since 12 is divisible by 3, 156 is also divisible by 3. Similarly, let us take uh, the case of uh, 1, 2, 3, 3. So let us add all the digits 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. So 9 is divisible by 3, right? Because 3 3s are 9. So the number 1, 2, 3, 3 is also divisible by 3. So for any number, you can perform this test and you can find out whether it is divisible by 3 or not. Next comes divisibility test of 4. Any number can be said to be divisible by 4 if the last two digits of the number uh, is divisible by 4. For example, uh, let us take 6, 4, 2, 8. So according to this condition of uh, divisibility of 4, uh, the last two digits must be divisible by 4. So in 6, 4, 2, 8, the last two digits are 28. So 28, if, if it is divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. So 28 divided by 4, right? So what is the answer? See, 28 divided by 4. 2 2s are 4, 2 14s are 28, 7. So, number 28 is 7 times of 4. So, since 28 is divisible by 4, the whole number 6 4 2 8 is also divisible by 4. Okay, so this is divisibility test for 4. Next comes uh, divisibility test of uh, 5. This number is very easy because any number having last digit of uh, as uh, 0 or 5 is said to be divisible by 5. For example, let us take 150. The last digit is 0. So it is divisible by 5. Let us take 250. The last digit is 0. So 250 is also divisible by 5. Let us take 100, uh, sorry, 1280. Last digit is 0. It is also divisible by 5. Let us take 1125, the last digit is 5. So according to this divisibility test, if any number has 0 or 5, it is, div it is divisible by 5. So 1125 is also divisible by 5. Similarly, 1695 is also divisible by 5. So, so the next divisibility test is 6. Any number is uh, divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by 2 and 3 okay so uh, if if let us take the case of uh, 720 
so 720 must be divisible by both 3 and 2 only then it will be divisible by 6 so let us take 2 according to this uh, according to divisibility test of 2 if a last digit has 0 then it is divisible by 2 so 720 is divisible by 2 so is it divisible by 3 now so for di for 3 the divisibility test is adding the numbers uh, adding the digits and then dividing by 3 7 plus 2 9 so 9 is also divisible by 3 so 720 is divisible by both 2 and 3 so since it is divisible by both 2 and 3 number 720 is also divisible by 6 right similarly let us take 1440 1440 is divisible by 2 this is because the last digit is 0 according to divisibility test of 2 we have seen if uh, the last digit is 0 it is divisible by 2 so is it divisible by 3 now yeah to know if it is divisible by uh, 3 let us add the digits 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 0 8 plus 1 9 so 9 is divisible by 3 so this is divisible by 3 also 3 and 2 so 1 4 4 0 is divisible by 6 to, sorry so next comes the divisibility test of uh, 7 so this is a little tricky so please listen carefully difference between twice the digit at one's place and rest of the numbers must be 0 or multiple of 7 if this condition satisfies then the number is divisible by 7 so this is very confusing to many people so let us see it with an example let us take the case of 658 so according to this condition uh, the difference between twice the digit at one's place and the rest of the number so what is the one place one's place one's place is 8 so twice the one's place one's digit so 2 into 8 equals 16 okay and the rest of the number the difference between the rest of the number and this 2 into 8 so rest of the number is 65 so 65 minus 16 what is the answer so the answer is 49 65 minus 16 equals 49 so since 49 is divisible by 7 because 7 7s are 49 so 49 is a multiple of 7 so we can say the number 658 is divisible by 7 right so now let us see the divisibility test of 8 any number can be said to be divisible by 8 if the last three digits is divisible by 8 okay so the condition is the last three digits must be divisible by 8 so for example let us take uh, 2 to 5 6 so according to the uh, divisibility test the last three digits which mean 256 must be divisible by 8 so let us see if 256 is divisible by 8 256 divided by sorry 256 divided by 8 to 4 are 2 8 2 2 are so yes uh, 256 is divided it is divisible by 8 so by this uh, test we can say number 2256 is also divisible by 8 now uh, there is one exception to this uh, during some times if the number uh, if the number has three zeros at the end for example 189000 1,89,000 so if this is the number so how do we find if this number is divisible by 8 or not because according to our uh, test the last three digits must be divisible by 8 so here the last three digits are 0 0 0 so in this case we can go blindly that 1,89,000 is divisible by 8 if you find any number where the last three digits are zeros then you can just blindly say that uh, that the particular uh, number is divisible by 8 so this is divisibility test of 8 next comes uh, 
the divisibility test of uh, 9 so for this 9 the sum of all digits of that number must be divisible by 9 for example let us take 4356 so according to this condition all the all the digits sum should be divide, divided by 9 so 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 uh, so this is equal to 18 right so is number 18 divisible by 9 yes 9 twos are 18 so since the sum is divisible by 9 we can say this number is also divisible by 9 so therefore 4356 is also divisible by 9 so this is divisibility test of 9 next comes divisibility test of 10 this is very easy the last digit of that number must be 0 if the number is 0 then we can blindly say that the number is 100% divisible by 10 for example 1450 the last digit is 0 so this is divisible by 10 1920 is also divisible by 10 since the last digit is 0 100 is also divisible by 10 because the last digit is 0 1500 is also divisible by 10 because the last digit is 0 so for example if we take 1555 this is not divisible by 10 because the last digit is not equal to 0 so this is divisibility test of 10 so we have seen all the divisibility tests uh, from 2 to 10 i hope you like this video and if you found this uh, video useful please do give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel